What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. If you follow me on Instagram or you've been following the YouTube channel for a little while now, you know that very recently I had a really bad parkour accident where I fell about 10 to 12 feet and I hit my head really, really hard. I'm doing okay, I'm still in recovery, but today I wanted to do something a little unique. I have all the footage from the day that the parkour accident happened. And before you get excited, I don't have any video of the injury itself, but I have gone through the video footage and I kind of thought it'd be quite interesting to kind of go through the video and explain the feelings that I had and what the day was going like before I had the accident. And I think for me, it's going to be a very good chance for me to almost like close that chapter as I've kind of been reflecting on that day a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play the video as normal. It was uploaded last week. You can click up here to see the original video. Now I'm gonna just play the video as normal and give my commentary over it as it's going. So I do hope you enjoy this video and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. So we were running one of our progression street sessions, which were kind of bi-monthly training sessions that we run in order to encourage people to go to new places, meet new people, for our mental health project that we do and like normal Vicky and I got there an hour before we like to get there early because we liked to kind of be there and ready for when people show up and I found this spot when I first got there and I really wanted to essentially do my warm-up on a little bit of height because I don't do a lot of height training that often and yeah like I'd started with this with this warm-up and it was going really well and um, it was making me feel really positive about the day want to get the stick on the pre-back but it's difficult because the mental challenge is standing on that edge jumping it's quite high off the ground so it makes it difficult to gauge how much power to put in without slipping down. i really had a few challenges on this day that i wanted to do so by starting my warm-up here it was kind of warming me up for some of the challenges that i really wanted to do throughout the day I was really enjoying these challenges it was a little bit scary to go to at first but i was really happy to kind of go and get the stick towards the end there we go well done. Thank you. Cuddle. Where are we today? Broadfield, Broly. What are we doing in Broadfield? Having a jam. 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 <laughs> Little jam session in Broadfield for the uh, contendant progression street sessions that we run. <laughs> Essentially they're training sessions where we just like pick a location, announce it and then see how many people turn up. Um, it's just good getting out, meeting new people and heading to like, different locations. So now we're going to head to the main area where we're going to meet everyone and meet everyone there and get some training done. So. So we just got to the main meeting spot. I've seen this pre-down from here down to this edge that I want to try. It's lovely and dry. I'd like to kind of ding on the edge of it. I guess I'll go up and have a look, see what it's like saying, see what it's feeling like and see if it's worth going for. So the night before this session, it actually rained quite heavily and it was due to rain on the day as well. But it actually been really dry and it was really humid. And then the sun came out and there was just no rain at all moss central it's like so much wet moss up here oh it's just like soaked my entire foot it did mean the roof was quite wet though um, and when i first looked at this challenge i didn't commit to doing it <laughs> doable though it's definitely doable just need to dry my feet which is annoying where are the wet parts of the roof oh it's all pretty damp to be fair oh the problem is like the whole roof's wet so like you walk on here and it's just like slippy which is annoying that's probably an, like an idea if you could do that i think a lot of this clip shows that my accident wasn't like a reckless decision within my training i think this this part of the video shows that i'm very a cautious individual when it looks to training yeah this might have to wait i don't think it's safe no shoes and you know, doing things like calling it off because it's too wet and not doing it because I don't feel safe. I think that kind of shows that the accident that I had really was an accident. A bit of a bummer. The roof was too wet. Like there was moss all over it, but also there was just like, it, the water almost like soaked and held into the roof, uh, which was really annoying. So it's not safe to do it. I don't feel 100% in control doing it when it's wet and when my shoes are wet. So another day maybe, but today just isn't that day. It dries later maybe, but I don't think it will dry today for that, so. So a couple of training jumps, absolutely fine. I um, was again, warming myself up for some of those scary challenges that I wanted to do later on in the session. <clears throat> I 
All right, so Connor's got a little side flip that he wants to do. Nice, bro. That was good. And again, you can see here, this is where the sun has come out for the session and it pretty much stayed out for the rest of nice. the time that I was there at least. Oh. Oh. So Jake has just found this pillar and it perfectly sets up for a pre-down. Oh, go on. Go on, Jake. Go on, Jake. Last little bit. Dino up. Go on, go on, Jake. Go on, Jake. Push with the feet, pull with the hands. Push with the feet, pull with the hands. Go on. Push with the feet a lot here and then bring a hand up. Go on, Joel. Push with the feet, pull with the hands. Push with the feet, pull with the hands. Go on, go on, go on. Reach up. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, that pre down is horrifying. Oh my god, you've got to turn and everything. Nice. Oh, that's so heavy. That's not how that works. Go on, Joel, go on, Joel. Go on. Hand up, hand yes, up, yes. hand up, hand oh, up. Please. Onto the top, onto the top. Just put your hand on. Grab the top, grab the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's horrible. It's gross, isn't it? <laughs> so later on in the day, Rayleigh went up to do the jump and it was absolutely dry. I went up and tried it shortly afterwards because I wasn't going to try it unless it was dry. It wasn't the jump that I hurt myself on. You'll kind of see that more towards the end of the video. It's a lot drier now. It's me going up, having a look. Pretty one. I actually wanted to stick this and I was like overthinking it and I was like, oh, I could go up and stick it, but sticking that's going to be so hard. It's so easy, isn't it? Yeah, just try and stick it though. I don't really want to break my legs. <laughs> Rayleigh did it so well though. Like Rayleigh's was so clean compared to, to when I did it. So uh, Rayleigh's Instagram is, is here. So go give him a follow. <laughs> so want to go back and stick it quite impacting so we'll see how it goes so impacting is it worth it oh, let's try the feet off i don't think it's stickable might be no. i'm not sticking that <laughs> no way so much impact we've come to have a look at the uh, the jump big running rail precision you've seen the story so this challenge here was the challenge of the day that i really wanted to go for if you'd seen the old story video you'd see the the running pre to the rail i've been feeling really confident with my rail precisions and my training at the moment and this was one that i really wanted to get so i was actually spending some time prepping this jump and it was by prepping that jump did I hurt myself. So we've worked out doing this running jump back here to like down the long wall. It's very similar to doing rail prep. So this one was the first one that I prepped on and it went absolutely fine. I was drilling it really, really well and I felt super confident going for the other rail precision. Yeah, it's easy, man. Nice. Oh, mate, that was beautiful. So much power. So with the preps on the running pre to the rail, it's possible. It's very scary because it's so high off the ground. I am doing some scary running pre's to warm myself up for that jump. And this, and this is the jump here. So I'm going to explain a little bit about this jump now. So this jump here, this is the jump that I wanted to do. And I've done it before. I'll add the clip on the screen here that when I did it, but I wanted to jump kind of where, just under my arm here, down to this wall here. And what actually happened was when I did it, I run in and I did the precision fine, but I overshot it into this bush. 
And I, I think basically I fell forwards and I wanted to put my hands on the wall, but I just absolutely missed the wall and I ended up toppling um, headfirst about 12 feet onto the other side. So as you can probably see from the video, the actual training wise was absolutely fine. Everything that was running up to that point was going really, really well. It was just a bit of a freak accident that it happened. So it's been a little bit of time since this has happened now and it was quite a traumatic thing, both for me physically and obviously on my brain, but also mentally as well. I've really not done any moving or any exercise and have kind of been enclosed into my flat um, ever since it happened basically. And I'm doing really well when I am mending, but it's still gonna be a very long time for me to do any kind of exercise again. But I'm still really interested in making videos and you know doing some more parkour stuff that doesn't involve me training at the moment. It is a little bit of a setback, but it is also a bit of a challenge for me. I have done it before when I broke my ankle, I wasn't allowed to train for six months. So I've just got to try and go through the same thing again, but trying to find other ways that kind of stimulate me and keep me interesting. So I hope this video has been somewhat interesting for you. It's something that I wanted to experiment, see if it worked, give me some commentary over videos. It's something that I think would be quite interesting. If you did enjoy the video, you can leave a like and you can subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. You can also join the channel if you did want to support me. Link for that is in the description. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.